Hi guys, Abe here of the Pocketbot Collective. And today's subject is sludge. To be precise, this is McFan's Toys sludge, MFT sludge, who is technically a slightly upscaled, knocked off version of the DX9 sludge. Here he is! In all of his, I guess, Brontosaurus glory, <laughs> even though by now we know that a Brontosaurus was incorrect, but we all know him as his little long neck, don't we? All right, before we get into him, let's see what he comes with. Sludge or Slurge, <laughs> as MFT has renamed him, comes with a box, two weapons, and a set of instructions. Let's have a quick look at the box first. It has a, a very nice image on it. I have no idea why it says Nueoli on there. Because looking at the number MF23, it's definitely McFan's toys. And that's further proven by, and I'll skip to the back quickly first, there, the McFan's Toys logo. But yeah, some, sorry, shots on the back. Love that they uh, put a cartoon logo on there as well. Some uh, legal stuff down there. Not a copy of that up there. You've got your Dinobots down here, although these are very stylized. That's not how these guys look. But it's a cool image nonetheless. And I like the top, which has all of them on there. Now this one's from, I don't know if it says on the box anywhere. Well, not that I can read. But it's a few years old already, but at the time of this review, uh, there's been a re-release of these guys. So in most stores online, you will probably still be able to get this guy as well as his fellow teammates. Like I said, they're just slightly upscaled, knocked off versions of the DX9 ones. At a lower price point, of course, than the DX9 ones. So a very good option. Um, Quickly... There's your, sorry, transformation steps. There's an actual product shot down there. Mm, not on the other side though, but. Well, there you go. Has two weapons. He has this silver shiny sword. Well sculpted. Standard five millimeter peg, so you can also use it for other figures. And, and this cannon, which is decently sculpted. No further paint on it. Also, five millimeter peg. We'll bring them in in robot mode later because there's no storage on it in dino mode. As for the figure himself, here is his head. Very nicely done. Blue flaked paint for the eyes. Mouth can move. Head can swivel all the way around. There's no neck articulation, no tail articulation. Legs have Right, front legs have a little hinge, so you can get them into walking poses and can just rotate well all the way around, but yeah, of course it gets he gets in his own way there. Pretty much the same for the back legs, but it also has a cut there because the back legs become the robot arms and it has a swivel out, so 
if you want to, you can make him pee on the bush. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't think I've ever even done that before. But just explaining this guy, it popped into mind. But there you go. Besides that, he's pretty clean. Nice details on there. You can also get these guys with gold accents instead of yellow. But I like my Dinobots cartoon accurate, so yellow it is. And that is it, pretty much. For slud Sludge's robot mode, uh, Dino mode, sorry. Nicely done. Although the original idea and mold, of course, is from DX9. All right, transformation then. I gotta admit that I do not like transforming this figure very much. I usually keep him around in robot mode. Um, the reason for it is, and I'm not sure whether the DX9 version suffers the same things, um, but things get in the way during transformation. It's not easy and you have to maneuver and ma manipulate things a bit um, and whenever that happens of course you risk breaking stuff which you don't want to um, one thing I forgot to point out just now was that it's these bits are translucent so that's pretty nice adds to the aesthetic of dino mode but okay transformation um, we're gonna get these legs out of the way because you can see the shell is cut around it with a ball joint there so that'll flip out and be uh, sort of his shoulder pads, wings, whatever you want to call it. Um, these legs will put out of the way for a bit as well. One of the legs sometimes pops off during transformation on my copy. But there we go. Uh, what you pretty much need to do is split this entire upper section in half because these two si uh, sides become his robot legs. Now also the tabs are quite tight so I'll try and break them apart by using a little screwdriver. And yeah, that, that's part one of where I think it could go wrong on this figure. You could end up damaging or breaking something. Because stuff is just tight. There's a little tab in there that I need to get to. Again, maybe, maybe if you file down the tabs, it gets a bit easier. But then you risk that it doesn't tap properly anymore. And that your figure keeps coming apart. There's also two tabs on the side here, where the back half tabs into the front half. What I kind of want to do is just get this out of the way so I can start splitting everything. There we go. No worries, that, that's what's supposed to happen. This piece stays attached to that side, the other piece to the other side. There's some hinges there, which we'll use to clear all that kibble away into his lower legs. And now what we want to do is, we can also get this chest piece out of the way. Uh, can we fold it all the way? No, because we still need to rotate the entire robot. Um, we kind of want to, and like I said, everything gets in the way. So there's no real clear way for me to show it, but his legs, upper legs are in there. So on the hinge down here, where the neck is attached you kind of want to hinge it out and also try and do that on the other side clearing it from the back half there we go and then I'll just swing the legs out for now so you can actually see there we go now what we want to do is get these pieces to the inside of the lower legs what we will do there's a hinge here you can hinge this up and over and we'll hinge it back in a minute. You will also need to sort of 
turn this round and put it flush there. Sorry if I was a bit off camera there. And then this will go in and sit inside there. We want to do the same on the other side, but now we have an entire head that needs to come with it. So, yeah. There we go. Move it up. Swivel this. Turn it round. Um, my god, this guy gets in his own way. And you kind of want to... There we go. So, now this is all inside the legs. But we're not done yet, because these dino legs also need to tuck in there. So yeah, I'll swap, uh, swivel these out. And I'll do it on this side first. This has a hinge in there. What you need to do is kind of pull the legs out, but not too far, because then it'll pop off. And then make it go... Just over the top there, only to push it back in and kind of try and fit all of that in there. Um, for me, that's not entirely flush, so to say. I usually do something else with it, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, we'll first try and get the other one up and over as well without it popping off, because I think that's the one that usually pops off. There we go. There we go. Now the head gets in the way again. And this technically also needs to go in there. And that's why I don't bother. What I usually do is do it like this. And have it sit. Come on, pop in there again. Just on the back of his robot leg. Because then at least you have some room for this dinosaur head to sit in there. And that, in my opinion, works a little bit better. I'll do the same on the other side. Just hold it down and over. There we go. Lower legs done. We'll move to the upper torso, but in order to do that, we need to rotate this entire top section round. There we go. Then swing the legs to the bottom. And then this bit, which was like that his pelvis skirt needs to flip down so we're getting somewhere pull the tail out from underneath there so we can get that out of the way revealing his head you can turn that around now and now we still need to get these wings over these arms by using that ball joint on the back so, uh, let me see, what is the easiest way? Probably swing them out, yeah, there we go. And then swing them back down. Same on the other side, up and out. So we have clearance to pull this out and then bring it back down. Now we'll close up his chest and flip him down there. Reposition everything a little bit. I think I need to move the camera up a bit. Hang on, guys. Is that better? There we go. Get these wings a little bit out of the way so we can move the tail down, which is on a double hinge. Get these wings up and over. And his hands are just hiding in here. But I can't get them out like that. So again, need a little tool to just bring out the hand. Close that back up. Same on the other side. Stick it in his hand. There we go. Sludge is in the building. Let's have a good look at him, shall we? First up, his face, which is a pretty cool. Looks nice, nice paint. Is on a ball joint, but the ball joint is buried in there. So all you can do is just 
swivel it all the way around and there's a little cut there in his chest so he can look a little bit down but not a lot there you go arms same articulation as the dino legs the wings get in the way so you can't fully get them round legs kick forward all the way kick backward all the way um, with the dino legs uh, on the back you can't get the uh, Um, the knee bend much but yeah due to transformation this can fold up all the way over of course but who's gonna use that he has very clunky feet anyways no ankle tilt or anything so you have to maneuver him a little bit to really get a good stance out of him um, no ab crunch has of course got this backwards crunch so to say which I don't know what you can use for. I guess you can lay him on, flat on his belly if you want to. And uh, no rotation either because the rotating part is there between that black and that red bit. So, no, can't rotate either. Can, of course, hold his weapons. The gun, you can see that the peg is all the way at the back because otherwise it wouldn't fit but he holds that and can also hold his sword of course there we go and there we have sludge I like him. I like that he's a little bit bigger than the other Dinobots that I have in my collection. Um, but like I said, I do not enjoy transforming this guy. Uh, let's do some size comparisons, shall we? Put your sword down a bit, buddy. I'll put him... Uh, like I said, I don't have DX9's Sludge. I do have DX9's Swoop. So... This is how he compares in size to one of the DX9 Dinobots. He's a bit bigger, which I don't mind. I like Sludge to be bigger than the other ones. Um, this is a standard Legend class figure. Our boy Runabout from Iron Factory. And just to show you how tall he is... Here he is compared to a standard Hasbro Deluxe class figure. So he's pretty much on par with that. Just to give you a representation. Because that means him being as tall as these guys. That you could also go for the power of the Primes Dinobots. If you want. Because they're also that size. Except for Grimlock of course. Their, their Grimlock is even taller than this. There you go. Um, what else? Well, let me just bring in some more Dinobots from my collection. So you can see how I built the team. You might have seen it in one of my other Dinobot reviews already. Here is Roland Combine. Um, Slag, <laughs> Slug, whatever you want to call him, from Hasbro. And here is the recently released... Oh, sorry, I'm just moving stuff around here the whole time. <laughs> recently released Snarl from the Cyberverse line. There we go. Should have just moved the camera a bit. It <laughs> would have been quicker. <laughs> and because I don't have a Grimlock with yellow at the moment in my collection. We'll bring in this little mini Grimlock there. My Dino Diversity team rises again. 
So, what do you think? Is it something for your collection? Like I said, he is available at the moment at most toy stores. He is a good looking figure. I like him. I don't see myself trading him for something for another sludge anytime soon. But he's not the most fun to transform, to be honest. But it is what it is, and it is a sludge. And it's a good looking sludge at that. So there you go. MFT, sorry, MF23 Dinobot Sludge by MacFans Toys. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I will see you next time. Ape out.